laboratories here that work on the sensory periphery in all the different senses. And it seemed like it would be opportune to uh, bring those laboratories together to trade ideas, discuss novel findings. And it's inspired both by the group of people that are here, as well as the fact that there are these intriguing um, conservation of mechanism, even at the molecular level, that run between the different senses. We've made tremendous progress in understanding the molecular basis of, of sensory transduction. And uh, from vision uh, through the other senses, uh, I think one can point with, to dramatic advances in our understanding of things operating at a very molecular level. At the same time, I think we are not very far forward in terms of repairing or restoring lost sensory function. We're going to be looking for better and better ways of integrating prosthetics with the sensory systems. And I think it means that not only understanding how sensory systems work themselves, but then integrating our efforts with uh, nanotechnology and uh, bioengineering and tissue engineering to be able to have even more effective integration of prosthetics with uh, sensory end organs. So that's where the immediate future lies. But I think longer term, uh, most obviously, we need to be able to better uh, pre preserve sense organs from damage or disease states which damage them, uh, as well as to restore those sense organs after they've been permanently damaged. It also, to me, I think serves importantly as a, another conduit by which clinical and basic science departments find common ground and are aware of um, ideas and uh, methodologies that might benefit people working in those different departments.